the truth about Dr. Phil's rants for troubled teenagers. The news flying in the air about scandals of abuse in one of the troubled teen industries affiliated to the Dr. Phil show may not come as a shock to many. In case you didn't know, the troubled teen industry is an expansive network of residential programs and facilities which claim to treat, reform, or rehabilitate troubled youth. Fans of the Dr. Phil reality show may well have been anticipating scandalous theories, and it just happened. A celebrity teen rapper, Bad Bobby, has accused the ranch Dr. Phil promotes to be hell. She and other teens have alleged a lot of trauma, sexual abuse, murder, and sleep deprivation to the so-called therapeutic boarding school. Several media outfits have made numerous attempts at contacting both Phil McGraw and Turnabout Ranch to justify and clarify the allegations, but to no avail. Which draws out the biggest question on everyone's mind. Are the allegations true? Before we continue, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss a video. Dr. Phil is an American talk show that debuted on September 16, 2002. It was created by Oprah Winfrey and hosted by Phil McGraw, following the success of his dedicated segments on The Oprah Winfrey Show. Their first connection was on his first show, The Strategist, where lawyers presented dummy cases before going out to present at real courts. The two showrunners were further acquainted after McGraw helped her win a lawsuit. On both The Oprah Winfrey Show and Dr. Phil Show, McGraw offered advice based on his life experiences as a clinical and forensic psychologist. As the show evolved, it has appeared on the Daytime Emmy Award nominations since 2004 and has since gained popularity and acceptance in the United States and countries around the world. Dr. Phil McGraw's show has featured both teen celebrity stars and regular teens. That's just how popular it is. On the Dr. Phil show, troubled teenagers were usually sent to the Turnabout Ranch located in Escalante, a rural south central town in Utah, a boot camp style ranch which the show is partnered with and was featured in a 2010 episode. The ranch is acclaimed to be a Christian residential treatment program for troubled teens that teaches real values through a combination of therapy, education, and cattle farming. Teens there spend their days in a highly supervised, closely structured program in which they do chores while also doing schoolwork and meeting with counselors. Juveniles usually stay for about 100 days. Pictures on the website show teens riding horses, chopping wood, and milking cows. The Dr. Phil Show was rated second highest talk show after The Oprah Winfrey Show and has ranked as the top syndicated talk show since January 2011. After its announcement to renew the show for four more seasons at a total of 21 seasons, taking the show to May 2023, there began to be big exposures. Let's take you down memory lane for a bit. In 2010, 17-year-old Hannah Archuleta was sent to the Turnaround Ranch, which she reluctantly went to. At that time, I was 17 years old and suffering from many life traumas. I had recently learned that my mother was terminally ill with liver failure, and I was very vulnerable and heartbroken, Archuleta said. The ranch proudly indicated this on their website as a part of their involvement in the Dr. Phil show. In 2019, she revealed that two weeks after she arrived at the ranch, a man working at the ranch sexually harassed her in one of the facility's barnyard areas. When it happened again, she confided in female staff members who immediately retaliated against her with sadistic and arbitrary work tasks and verbal abuse. According to the 19-year-old, I was required to spend extra time picking up horse manure, walking in circles around a horse corral, and sitting at a desk facing a wall for hours. I also had to do forced labor outside in below freezing temperatures and sleep on a wooden plank with no pillow. Ranch leaders also refused her access to the bathroom. Archuleta felt compelled to come forward with the allegation after hearing Paris Hilton's testimony at a court about her experience at Provo Canyon School in Utah when she was 16 years old. Hilton revealed this in support of the bill requiring more Utah state government oversight of youth residential treatment centers. Outside of the show, in 2012, a mother sued the ranch for allegedly torturing her daughter when she lived there in 2005. Another guest on the Dr. Phil show, teen rapper Bad Bobby, born Danielle Bergoli, in a video account of her experience, said she was 17 years old when she was sent there by Phil McGraw after being put on the show by her mother and grandmother. According to Bergoli, upon arrival in the ranch, 
she sat in a teepee-like conical tent for three days without sleeping or showering. They wouldn't let me lay down for nothing, like I was falling asleep and they're like, oh, get up, get up. So I'm just sitting there like, this is going to be really bad. When I see these people have no sympathy. Teens were stripped of their identities and they made you act like they want you to. They took away their privileges. Bad Bobby became a viral sensation in 2016 after she appeared on Dr. Phil McGraw's show on the segment, I want to give up my car stealing, knife wielding, twerking 13 year old daughter who tried to frame me for a crime and challenged the booing audience to a fight saying, catch me outside. How about that? Cash Me Outside became a meme, which was mixed into a song by the artist, after her return from the ranch, of course. She felt empowered to speak up after Archuleta came out on her experience at the ranch, and because she is working closely with an organization called Breaking Code Silence, a social movement organized by survivors of institutional child abuse and activists to raise awareness of the problems in the troubled teen industry and the need for reform. The aim of the industry is to create change and protect vulnerable youth from abuse. The social media influencer opined that the ranch should be shut down because, like Archuleta, she didn't want other teens to pass through similar experiences. In further disclosure on the treatment of teens, the pop star said, if children don't listen to them, they don't even let them use a proper restroom or eat real food. They separate them from the other children, force them to sit at a desk facing a wall, make them do hard labor, use a porta potty, eat peanut butter sandwiches in cold ramen, sit in below freezing temperatures, pick weeds, and put together over 20 piles of horse manure with a wheelbarrow. How is punishing children supposed to help them become better? Danielle Bergoli said she didn't come out before now because there were no witnesses to what they were doing to the kids out there on the ranch, and she feared that no one would believe her. She revealed that if another student was acting inappropriately, they ignored the report. Speaking on the punishment called Reflection, she said the staff broke a lot of rules and laws, one of which involved them holding a kid down bound. The Billboard Music Awards nominee recounted a murder and brutality scenes which kids witnessed in 2016, saying, One morning I was cleaning up for breakfast. A kid was trying to steal a car, and there was a lot of commotion outside. A 17-year-old Arizona drug addict attacked 61-year-old Jimmy Wolseley, a staff member who only went to check up on the teenagers sitting around a campfire that frosty morning. Clay Brewer attacked Wolseley from behind with a metal bar, causing him to fall, and Brewer snatched up his car keys from him. The other kids immediately fled the scene and into a cabin where they slept. They met with another staff member, Alicia Keller. Brewer realized he couldn't start Jimmy Wolseley's car and decided to run to the cabin. Keller struggled to keep the teenager at bay, and in the course of the struggle, he assaulted Keller, who was bleeding profusely from a head wound he inflicted on her and didn't mind it until she threw him her car keys through the window. He started out and drove out of the ranch. He was 300 miles south of Salt Lake City when he was apprehended by local forces. Jimmy Wolseley died that day. Brewer, in his confession, admitted that since leaving his addiction for the ranch, he had been losing his mind and needed to escape. The previous night before he attacked both staff, he was feeling frustrated and having suicidal thoughts, which he also attempted. His depression extended into the morning when he decided to do something about his predicament and attacked Jimmy, who he claimed to really like. Prosecutors filed eight charges against him that also included aggravated murder and robbery in the attack. He was charged directly as an adult under Utah laws where serious cases bypass juvenile court. The ranch takes in teens from 13 to 17 years of age who exhibit a range of behavioral issues. These issues include eating disorders, suicide attempts, as well as psychotic and sexual perpetrator behaviors. And teens that witnessed the scenes were, according to the rapper, traumatized. In the video, Bad Bobby gave McGraw an ultimatum to apologize and, if you don't, I'm going to handle things my way. So far, there has been no word of apology or acknowledgement from McGraw or staff of the ranch, not even after several contacts. This brings us to the end of today's video. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Also, make sure to share, like, and subscribe for more amazing content. Until next time.